Henshin! 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 Please. What a day! Oh my gosh. Late last night, guys, it was shown on Tubi TV. If you clicked on it, and if you still click on it, it's gonna be there. Common Rider. Now, Common Rider, whatever, Common Rider, whatever, just Common Rider. The first, the OG. He is up. 98 episodes, all completely subtitled. I mean, I'm assuming, I don't think anybody's actually had the time to double check every single episode that the subtitles work, but we're gonna assume they do. Quick story of it last night, late last night. Somebody had found it and it got into like a Discord group. Basically, I think somebody was probably just watching Tubi TV. Completely legitimate site, by the way. You don't even have to sign up. It's one of those. They get older shows sometimes streaming from different things. Then you just watch commercials and you get to watch it for free. Like, I guess free Hulu, you know, something like that. So they are up. Everybody freaks out, of course, because, oh my gosh, we've been saying, Kamen Rider's coming, you know, Kamen Rider's coming, Kamen Rider's coming, two if by Henshin, and three if by bike. <laughs> we know that's a joke, riders don't actually use their bikes anymore. No, quick, last episode of Zero One, he, he's like out of shape, and I'm like, ride your freaking bike, you rider! Anywho, we were talking about Kamen Rider, the OG one, which I actually have no merchandise of, but I did have to update the shelf and the display for this because it is just writer hype right now. I know that there have got to be some really ticked people at Shout Factory, at Team Writer, at maybe even Tubi and, and Team Writer. Just, oh my gosh, can you imagine if this is what, I mean, we had a picture, remember, of Team Writer at Shout Factory. So we knew something was going to be coming afoot. And then this happens, and it's not an official thing. It's not anything. It's probably some program on the back end of Tubi, Tubi servers decided to go ahead and post this, and, and the cat's out of the bag. Even if one or two people deleted their tweet, even if a few people deleted it, like, people know now. It's spread everywhere. It's like the... No, we're not going to talk about that. But yeah, everybody knows about it now. So here I am making this video. Before I get to so we're going to talk about what happened and probably in the future give you some facts and whatnot. And then I I also, I did my hair, if any of you guys noticed at all. Um, so first off, this was late last night. Somebody found it was on Tubi TV. The news spread like wildfire because this is the Toka community. And seriously, on a Tuesday night at like 11 o'clock, we're all online. What do you think we're going to be doing? We're all online and people are already starting to watch it. I I can't think this is it though, guys. This can't be it. You know there's got to be more. For them to go all the way there, remember Shout Factory was pro uh, producing all of the Super, Super Sentai ones, but since Hasbro bought the brand, they have since stopped. Last we ever heard was their Hasbro is, you know, considering all of the things and okay, whatever. So hey, guess what? I got a new bow. His name's Kamen Rider. Oh, and with this, we hopefully will be seeing a dawn of a new era with Kamen Rider. Uh, hopefully media at least streaming. Now with no actual press release, we have no other information to go on. This is again, this is speculation on my part. This is my theory as to what might happen based on someone who's at least been following it for a while. With Kamen Rider, the original one going up, that is the Showa era. Now, for those of you who maybe are just like, this is really cool, I don't know about Kamen Rider, there's the Showa era, which was 70s, um, 80s, kind of stuff like that, and then you have the Heisei era. Heisei is divided into two parts, Heisei 1, Heisei 2, and now we are in the Reiwa era. I know, right? Basically, consider yourself, Kuga started Heisei 1. Double started Heisei 2. Reiwa is starting with Kamen Rider 01. So now that you kind of have that, I think the Showa era, the older ones, getting them to go straight to streaming like that is an amazing option. Get those people who like, those people who've always kind of wondered about it have been like, what is that? Maybe I'll give them a few episodes. Maybe they'll really like it. Or maybe it'll just make some older fans happy that we can get access to watching something like that. But I can't think it's going to stop there, guys. The way they have the rights to it, the way Team Rider and, and Bluefin brands and everybody, the way they're pushing new merchandise to us, they're pushing current, well, current at least lost, like the Lost Driver and the CSM stuff. 
I don't know, maybe newer gimmicks. I mean, we are getting the SH figure art for Kamen Rider Zero One. Okay, real quick, uh, the power company is like trimming trees near me, and of course they parked the shredder in front of my house, and they're going to be using it for the first time in four hours right now. So if you hear some loud noises, sorry about that. I'm thinking, and this is based on following it for so long, but I really think we're going to have Showa potentially released on DVD, but definitely with streaming. What I would love to see is with Heisei. I would love if they can maybe put like the oldest one or whatever. Maybe you do that on streaming. Maybe you do that on media. Maybe you do like... Heisei on media and, and show up on streaming or mix it up. I don't know. I was thinking it would be really fun if they could do two releases at once, if they did OG Common Rider and then maybe like Kuga or maybe Double or something, a newer one to uh, get to the fans who are like, hey, I, I did watch that or I remember watching that. I would love to be able to watch it again from my couch. I hope he's okay. So the sky's the limit, I really think. With them bringing over the merchandise, with the trademark and stuff that they're trying to do, I'm just thinking it's a matter of time before we get some more releases like this. And I definitely want to know what you guys think about this. First off, are you going to watch it? Um, what do you think about the fact that it came out early? What do you want them to either stream or put media out of? I am hyped. I would take about any DVD release for it. Uh, Shout Factory, they have, they're, they're a good company. They have a great track record of everything. I have full faith that in Shout Factory's hands, Kamen Rider is uh, being brought over to the West via media or streaming. I think it's actually in really, really good hands. Let me spell out Tubi TV before, between the things. T-U-B-I dot TV. Don't need to log in. You can hit it from your browser. I, I'm not sure actually how it works with your phone. I haven't really tried that yet. But it does have plenty of apps. I know it's on like the PlayStation Store. It's on, uh, I use a Roku and it works really great with a Roku. So I'm sure check your devices and see if you can easily stream it from, a, uh, from an app already on your t uh, phone or on your device. I am so, so ready for Ryder to come here. I've already watched uh, part of the first episode already today, just to kind of see like where it got started. And this is going to be a lot of fun, and I hope you guys are super excited for it as well. Please leave the video a like if you enjoyed it, and uh, subscribe if you haven't done already. And yes, I will probably do like a let's chat or something, and then I can talk a little bit more if you had any if you were wondering about my hair but i did post a photo on twitter i did this saturday so that's it guys i love you all let's henshin into the future and watch yourself some common writer love you